hello guys welcome to another video in this react series in this video we are going to learn how to create a model or a pop-up box in react.js application using bootstrap model as shown in this example we have a button here on click of this one we are showing a pop-up window or bootstrap model which will have a close and save changes button as well so when we click on this close button this pop-up will get hidden from the user interface this is one of the most widely used feature in our react applications so let's see how we can achieve this one in our react application for that one let's open the code editor first first thing to create a model is we need to get bootstrap installed in our react project to install the bootstrap in your application open the command window and add the code npm install bootstrap and then press enter once bootstrap is successfully installed open your main application file usually that will be app.js file or index.js file in this one we need to import the bootstrap css file once this bootstrap is installed that will be under node.js and we will have a separate folder by name bootstrap and within this one we have a distribution file where under that one we have a css files here the bootstrap.minimum.css file that is sufficient for our application so let's import that one using the code as shown here next for this application we'll have a separate component for this example i have created a separate component by name model component.js inside this component we are going to define the model's behavior using react bootstrap components in the interest of time I will add complete code here and then let's break that one step by step here we have a complete code for this bootstrap model at the top we have imported the necessary components from both react and react bootstrap we are importing use state hook which we are going to use later point of time in our component and we have also imported button and model components from react bootstrap library Next, we have a functional component by name model component within which we have complete logic for this bootstrap model. Initially, within this functional component, we have made use of use state hook to define a state here and we have defined a function to set the state of this show variable. Then we have defined two function here, one is handle close and handle show. This handle close is a function that sets the show states to false by using set show function this will be done whenever we are effectively closing the model similarly we have a handle show which is a function that sets the show states to true which will be opened whenever the model is open then at the bottom we have a return statement within which we have JSX structure for our bootstrap model initially we have a button on click of which model will be opened for that one we have defined a on click function so whenever user clicks on this button this handle show function will be called and using the set show function the state of this show will be set to true then this model will be displayed similarly we have handle close in three places one is we are calling on on hide props and two other on click of a two buttons one is close button and another one is on save changes button if you observe here within this model that is the main component we have a structure the initial which we have is model header within this model header we have a model title which sets the title of this model and then we have a model body this section contains the paragraph or text or whatever the content we want to display within this model so basically this will represents the content of the model and at the bottom we have a footer usually this will be used whenever we want to add any save button or any additional info or any buttons which we want to display at the bottom as mentioned earlier we have two buttons here one is for closing this pop-up or model and another button which have save changes content so at the bottom we are exporting this model component so that we can add this one in our main component app.js file once you added this code 
save all files here and go to browser to preview this one you can see we have a button when we click on this one we will see the content of pop-up model to check the model let's add some content or modify this content here then save it and go back to browser now you can see the updated content is visible in our model so that's it about the bootstrap model in react.js application now we have learned how to integrate bootstrap models into your react projects so feel free to customize this model's appearance and behavior further according to your project's needs thanks guys for watching this video if you like this video please click on like button share it with others and subscribe to my channel